So coronavirus is a big deal. Every single business is getting affected right now. If you've still got a brand, do dropshipping, everyone's stock are as low as 10% and everyone's struggling. And that's exactly why I want to make this video. I want to go ahead and talk about the things that you could do to utilize this downtime. You guys should actually take this sort of downtime as a blessing because now's your only chance to go ahead and plug all those leaks in your business and really tune everything up and that's exactly what I'll be going over because when you're sort of selling things, you've got Facebook ads running, you're getting a bunch of orders, a bunch of customer service, you're just too deep into the business where you just don't have time to do these seven things I'm going to mention and that's why you want to watch this because everyone, not only you, is getting affected by this but it's those who actually utilize this downtime and take it as a blessing but yeah, that's exactly what we're going to today's video so you definitely need to watch it. Before we get into today's video, let's start by announcing the last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses or consultant courses with me. The winner's here. If you guys want to qualify, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Let's go over the things you could do during these break periods. So, you know, okay. whether it's, you know, Chinese New Year, coronavirus, Christmas, during these down periods, a lot of people start hesitating and they're not too sure what they can do. So, the first thing that you could do is one, create a backlog of all the future products that you can test. Really utilize this downtime to really research as many products as you can and get ready for when coronavirus ends. Two, what you can do then is rate all these products and actually upload the products that you want to test onto your store. And that's sort of usually what a lot of people do during this downtime. They sort of spend it on product research and uploading those products onto their store. But what people don't do is they take it a step further to go ahead and actually upload those products onto their Facebook page, just like you have. Create the ad copy, create the ad, and then they even, not many people even take it a step further where you go ahead and actually create the campaigns. Because what you can do is you can create the campaign and just pause it. So you want to create the campaign, have all the interest targeting, research the interest you pick, upload all the ads, so that when you know the holiday season is finished, the any you know coronavirus is finished, you'll be able to go ahead and just turn on your campaigns at 12 a.m. when everything's back to normal and sort of launch all these products you have lined up with ease. Um, another thing you could do is launch these products and leave it as a draft so that when the coronavirus or the you know, Chinese New Year does finish, you'll be able to go ahead and schedule those for the next day at 12 a.m. Um, but if you want, you can just publish everything, pause it all, and just turn it on when um, all the issues finish. So that's sort of the sort of main thing you could do. Um, do you have any questions so far, Mario? Yeah, and just the pausing, how do you pause and yeah, ad? So, for example, right now when the campaign's off, it's paused. Okay, okay. Just, just by turning it off, then I can just turn it back on at uh, exactly. any time. Okay. You turn it off the moment you launch it, so it has zero ad spend. It's like a brand new campaign, and it hasn't spent a cent. But the yeah, the data is there from from before. I was could say I've still got the ad sets open, but I haven't got them all, all open. I'd have to open them up again. Yeah, so when I pause it, I'll keep all the ad sets or the ads turned on. And I'll just turn off the campaign. Yeah, okay, okay. Perfect, so that's sort of the first thing I would do. Then the next thing I would do is I'll spend time catching up on all my finances. Um, you know, that's sort of something that people slack on. And I really like to use these down times because one, you don't have much orders, you have more time, and really use that time to just sort of catch up on all your finances, put in all the ad spend you've used, all the cost of goods, um, you know, make sure all your credit cards are intact. Now it's a good time to consolidate things. Um, if you've been paying with you know, debit card, credit card, you have several different credit cards, it's a good time to sort of consolidate everything when you no longer have to use the credit card day in, day out. Yeah, that's good. Look, I've just got a new business uh, debit card yesterday, so I'll uh, work on getting that uh, sort of the end to the, um, into my purchases and uh, billing as well. And then number three, now it's a good time to sort of Prevention. So you sort of know that down the line, 
you're going to get credit limits are going to be hidden, um, PayPal limits, Stripe limits, um, all these sort of limits that are predicted to come. You know, you would see them in the course, you would see all these issues come in. You could definitely use this time to really prevent those from happening by calling up your bank be like, hey, do you mind if I increase my credit limit? Hey, do you, can I increase my debit limit or daily limit? That's very important. A lot of people have daily limits that are hidden. Like a lot of people don't know that, you know, you can only spend $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 dollars per day on a certain card. So you actually have these hidden limits that you can definitely sort of work on improving during these down times, as well as maybe even calling up PayPal, Stripe, and being like, hey, um, I just wanted to call to you know verify my account, and I just wanted to ask if it's possible to increase my limits, just because I know that this is a long-term business. Okay. When Chinese New Year does finish, I do plan on really spending a lot of money and getting a lot of sales. Uh, could you help me make sure that when that time comes, nothing will happen? So number three is you could spend time on really increasing limits on all these different payment methods and gateways. And then number four. So the fourth thing that I highly recommend people do is really double down on their sort of mindsets and habits. Um, you know, 90% of my success and a lot of top people's success is their habits and mindset. 10% is attributed to like strategies and like blueprints. It's usually your mindset. And that's sort of where I'll really, you know, go back, go through all the mindset modules, print out all my, you know, um, daily affirmation booklets, uh, make sure I'm doing my daily routines. Um, if I haven't been doing something every day, such as doing my daily planners, build that sort of habit while things are slow, build the habit of reading my affirmation um, booklet every morning, build the habit of tracking my finances every day, and sort of build these habits while you don't have much going on. So when things do start rolling again, you would have locked in this habit that could easily continue. So that's number four. Yeah, okay, look, that's, uh, that's really good advice because sort of thing, um, you know, you notice when things do slow down, then you start tend to not to double down on on the the mindset, the habits, the affirmations, the daily planning. No, you know other um, other uh, distractions come in to your exactly. uh, to your life. But uh, exactly. you, you know, so yeah, that's that's good recommendation there to uh, to increase the effort in those things. Uh, you know, during this time, but. Um, you know, the, the other item, uh, increasing the limits, we can look at that and uh, catching up on the finances uh, generally. Yeah, you, you're right, it's a good time to, uh, to do those things. And then number five, I got one more, I think. Um, number okay. five is now is the best time to really hire virtual assistants because usually when you're in the business, you're so busy, you have to do customer service on your own, you have to upload products, you have to run ads, you have so many things going on and you just don't have the time or energy to find a virtual assistant. When things are down, this is only your spare chance where you can actually have a breath to really hire a virtual assistant, train up that virtual assistant, um, actually hire, qualify and then train up. Now's the best time to sort of build that because once you sort of got that virtual assistant, it's gonna make your life easy when you then go back into the role of things and you can start scaling again. So now's the best time to do hiring. So that's the fifth thing. There's a sixth thing which ties closely to the fifth thing is start building systems such as, you know, have a customer service process, build out SOPs, um, you know, systemize everything. It's sort of like write down what you do every day. Uh, you know, you put together checklists, you know, from product research all the way down to getting your ads out. Systemize everything, optimize your processes, um, and yeah, just spend time optimizing and building processes, hire virtual assistants, see how you can integrate them into your business through building systems. Um, and then obviously, um, these four things I just mentioned, each one of them, we could definitely go more in depth in, um, or there might be already videos on these four, six topics I mentioned, but these are the six things that you could go ahead and do during these down times, whether it's during a holiday period, Chinese New Year, or coronavirus. Number seven, 
The seventh thing that you could do during this downtime is spend more time with family. You know, a lot of people, when they're sort of doing e com, when they're getting sales, when you're running ads, it's nearly impossible for you to really spend time with family. Utilize this downtime and really,、um, because now you don't have ads running, you don't have anything on your mind, it's the best time to really take time off and sort of spend more time with family. And that's sort of another way I'll take advantage of this downtime. And that's the video. Pretty in depth. No one's talking about this high level type of content. Everyone's sort of talking about coronavirus, how it's affecting dropshipping, how it's affecting e commerce. But no one's actually telling you how to go ahead and utilize it to your advantage. And that's sort of my goal with this video create something positive, give you guys some value, give you some knowledge that people usually pay for, but you guys get completely for free. Mario, who's a part of my program, he sort of blessed me with the recommendation to go ahead and share this call with you guys. You know, he's part of my consulting program. So, Taking as advice, I'm going to give you guys this sort of call completely for free. My goal with this channel is to just give as much value as possible, give more and more things such as these.、Um, I plan to give away more courses, drop more playlists on my YouTube channel, so get ready for those. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Question of the day What are you currently doing with this coronavirus downtime? Drop your answers in the comments below. I've been answering every single comment, so be sure to drop a comment. Other than that, I hope you guys have been having an amazing week, an amazing day, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with more value. Peace.